So basically what I'm doing here to achieve this dark black smoky eye is I'm going to take an array of basically brown eyeshadows ranging from lightest to darkest. So I'm gonna start with the lightest one and work my way down to the darkest. So first I am taking Vanilla Bean from Makeup Geek and I'm going to use that in my crease and up to my brow bone. I have already primed my eyelids by the way. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and I'm just gonna buff that into my crease. And now I'm taking Tiki Hut, also by Makeup Geek, and I am gonna put this a little bit more concentrated in my crease with a more precise blending brush. And then I'm going back in with a more fluffy blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend everything together. And then go back in with that same Tiki Hut shade to deepen out the crease once again. Now I'm taking the shade Coco Bear, and that is gonna be even more defined in my crease. I'm basically going from lightest to darkest, and as I get darker, I'm going to go lower on my eyelid, if that makes any sense. Now I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean, and I'm gonna use this as a sticky base all over my eyelid for the black eyeshadow that we're gonna go in with. And that is Makeup Geek Corrupt. Now I'm going to basically work backwards. So I'm gonna go from darkest to lightest. So I'm taking the second darkest shade, which is Coco Bear by Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna buff that in the crease once again so I can get a really nice diffused gradient effect. Now I'm taking Tiki Hut and I'm gonna buff that in my crease. And now I'm taking Peach Smoothie and I'm gonna buff that in my crease. Now I'm taking it Chickadee, which was not in our original lineup, but I felt that it started to look a little bit like someone punched me in my eye, so a good way to avoid that is to take a really, really warm eyeshadow and just buff it on the very edge of the smoky eye. Now, moving on to the face, I am taking my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer and I'm using that to spot conceal. And now for foundation, I forgot to show it to you guys, but it's what I always use. It's my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade of 101 Classic Ivory. Now for concealer, I'm mixing these two. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. Now I'm going to bake underneath my eyes using my RCMA No Color Powder. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the shade 100 Porcelain. Now I'm just taking a little spoolie and getting all the extra foundation out of my eyebrows. And I'm going to set my eyebrow hairs using my L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper in the shade Medium to Dark. Now I'm going to be bronzing up my face using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Now I'm just taking a more precise brush to contour with. This is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. Now I am baking underneath my contour with that same RCMA powder. Now for blush, I'm using this e.l.f. Matte Blush Duo in the shade Rosy Flush, and I'm gonna mix both of them together. 
Just very lightly, I got a lot going on on the eyes, so I want to keep it a little bit more chill on the face. Now to finish up the eyes, I am going in with this Bare Minerals Big and Bright Eyeliner in the shade Char Bronze. Char Bronze? And that's going to go in my waterline. And now I'm buffing Tiki Hut on my lower lash line. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm using Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek. And for mascara, I'm using my Revlon of Volume and Length Magnified Mascara on my top and lower lashes. And to finish up the face, I'm just gonna buff away that bakage on my smile lines and underneath my contour. And for some reason, I forgot highlight earlier. So I'm gonna go in with my highlights. I'm using Makeup Revolution Viv Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights and my Elf Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. These e.l.f. baked highlighters are just not as intense as I would like them to be, so I like to layer them with other highlights. So I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution one first, and then I will go over top of it with the Moonlight Pearls by e.l.f. It's a beautiful highlight, but when I want something a little bit more intense, it's just not enough for me. And for lips, I'm using my NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in the shade Pecan. Pecan? Pecan? And then to set my whole face, I'm using Maybelline Master Fix. And that completes this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you next time. Watching the last episode of One Tree Hill while filming was a terrible idea. That's a spicy meatball. Some days today. And then some days yesterday. And this is your life.